All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right in these perilous times. Now, today I want to discuss about keeping good company, you know, having a good association. You know, it's very important to have a good circle with people that have your best interest. It's very important, man, you know, because in these last days, a lot of people are more lonely than ever. A lot of people are geared towards just staying to themselves and being introverted or antisocial, whatnot, which is understandable because maybe many people have social anxiety or people have issues with communicating with others or being or being understood by others. You know, a lot of times we go through life being ridiculed or mocked or belittled or misunderstood just off of certain aspects of ourselves or our energy or our hobbies or our habits or whatnot, you know, and. You shouldn't always uh, let your heart wax cold. You know, there's still some good people out here that you still haven't met yet. You know, there's still great people out there in the world that you just haven't seen out there yet. You know, there's still good people that would like to be around you and want to get to know you better. You could fellowship with some awesome people. It's very important to know who has our best interest and to be around good company, be around good people, man. You know, good vibes and no BS, like you could be yourself around them and whatnot, you know, it's all tough love and y'all could take correction, y'all could have each other's back, y'all could have each other's best interests or whatnot, you know, your bonds with people, your friendships, you know, being community minded, all those things are very important that has become a lost art nowadays, we see much more division more than ever, we see a lot of people divided and at odds with one another, you know, people today have a hard time accepting each other's differences you know and you know i'm here to tell you you know that you need to keep a good company around you you know i'm pretty sure you've probably been a loner or you're a lone wolf or you feel like you don't have no friends or nothing but you know go out and meet some nice people you know there's some decent people that's going through the same thing as you that might be waiting for a good friend or a good person to run into in their life you know some people have became loners or introverts or whatnot and then once they start fellowshipping with other believers or they started hanging around some decent good people their lives got better you know it's beautiful when you hang out with great people because you could get a lot of information and insight on things that you wouldn't know about on your own you know it's really great to hang around smart people as well because they could always make you a better person and make you change your outlook on stuff you know it's really great to hang around confident people and not arrogant, haughty people. It's really great to hang around people that, to where the circle, everybody can empower each other and benefit each other, you know. There's no leeching or no leaning on each other, or just no negative stuff. Everybody's pulling their own weight. Everybody's enjoying themselves. Everybody got their little thing going or their hobbies or their careers or whatnot. And um, when you read the scriptures, when you read the Bible, you know, all you saw was people hanging out with each other, whether it was Joshua and Moses or Elijah, Elisha or Christ and the disciples or what have you, you know, relationships are important. Bonds are important. Friendships are important. You know, having good company around you is a, is the way of life, man. You know, you can't just go through life all by yourself all the time. You can't just go through life all on your own. You know, that's not really the best way to live life. Sometimes you have to get out your own way. You have to get out your own comfort zone and get out your own shell. You know, sometimes you get of our own way of meeting great people or meeting a great person. You know, good company could be your spouse. It could be your your um, your partner. It could be just your neighbors or your few friends around the way. Or, you know, maybe it could be you be the people you fellow you fellowship with at church. Or it could be a, some classmates or some coworkers. I don't know. Whatever your associates are. I pray that they're good company, man. You don't want no bad people around with no bad vibes. That's the last thing we need right now. You know, we need to really protect our energy and really protect our mental health, you know. So we need people that can make us and not break us, you know. So a friendship always goes both ways. And it's very important, man, to, you know, be around the right people. You know, if you're a person that's lonely or to yourself, I pray that God places great people in your life to make you a better person. I pray that God brings people around you that could bring you closer to him. I pray that you have friends around you that pray for you. I pray that you have friends that want you to become blessed or help you get blessings as well as they do, you know. And 
I just hope everyone out there just has good company, man. Stay away from bad people. Stay away from bad peer pressure. As we can see in this world, there's a lot of people that's been led astray from the wrong crowd. You know, trying to fit in all the time, trying to be down so bad, trying to prove something, trying to get that validation by joining an organization or a group, a group, a, a, a group or a clique or whatnot. That's not the way, you know what I mean? You want your friendships and bonds to be honest and sincere and solid. Not some cult-like environment or anything, you know what I mean? And even in the hood, even in these inner cities, a lot of these, these shorties, they get caught up in the streets. They get caught up in the thug life. They get caught up in, you know, the system, man. And it all leads from bad company, bad peer pressure. We need to stray these, these youngins away from that street life, man. And show them that Christ life, you know what I'm saying? We need to show them about prayer and deliverance and baptism, not the hood stuff, not that street stuff. We need to take our shorties away from that. You know what I'm saying? So depending on the area you live in and what your situation looks like, man, I pray that you meet good people along your journey and along your way. You know, I just want to read some scriptures concerning this and just go from there. The book of first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. Do not be bound together with unbelievers. For what partnership have righteousness and lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? The book of Job chapter 1 verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came among them. The book of... Job chapter 2 verse 1 Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord And Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord and You gotta be watchful how the enemy works through people And disguise himself through people The book of Psalm chapter 1 verse 2 But his delight is in the law of the Lord And his law he meditates day and night The book of Psalm chapter 26 verse 4 I do not sit with deceitful men, nor will I go with pretenders. The book of Proverbs chapter 15 verse 20. A wise son makes his father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. You know, so it's just all these different scriptures showing y'all about, you know, hanging around the right people, man. Not getting caught up in the wrong crowd. Not being at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, negative peer pressure. There's so many different scenarios that people deal with daily that we just don't know about, you know. And who we associate with reflects a lot about ourselves, you know what I mean? The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 5. Do two men walk together unless they have made an appointment? Unless they come into agreement? Now, let's see. Let's see what we got here. The book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 9 through 13. As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting in the tax collector's booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. Then it happened that as Jesus was reclining at the table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and were dining with Jesus. And his disciples, when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why is your teacher eating with tax collectors and sinners? But when Jesus heard this, he said, it is that it is not those who are healthy who need a physician, but those who are sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire compassion and not sacrifice. For I do not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The book of Mark chapter 3 verse 13. And he went up on the mountain and summoned those whom he himself wanted and they came, and they came to him. The book of Luke chapter 8 verse 1 through 3. Soon afterwards, he began going around from one city and village to another, proclaiming and preaching the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and sicknesses. Mary, who was called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Steward, and Susanna, and many others who were contributing to their support out of their private means. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 22 Do not lay hands upon anyone too hastily and thereby share, responsible for, share responsibility for the sins of others. Keep yourself free from sin. The book of Judges chapter 11 verse 1 through 3 Now Jephthah the Galadite, 
the Galidite, was a valiant warrior, but he was the son of a harlot, and Galid was the father of Japhath. Galid's wife bore him sons, and when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Japheth out and said to him, You shall not have an inheritance in our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. Of Jeph Japheth was fled from his brothers and lived in the land of Tob, and worthless fellow Tob, and worthless fellows gathered themselves about Japheth, and they went out with him. So as y'all can see there, you know, they had a little little issues with family and associations or whatnot and uh stepbrother, stepsister things. So had, those things happen, but all all in all, you might get kicked out or left or feel left out, or you might feel like you don't belong in a group. You know, there's that phrase just because you're invited doesn't mean you're welcomed. You know, sometimes people deal with hostile energy or hostile vibes when they're invited to a certain place or gatherings or dealing with different people. And they get put in these uncomfortable situations because they're around people they don't like or they feel forced to be around someone or whatnot. And they have to fake the energy just to be around there. But, you know, do your best to avoid those type of situations, man. Always be around people you know you could be yourself around and that you don't feel awkward or weird around. You don't feel pressured to present yourself a certain way around someone, you know. Don't get caught up in the whole skin color thing or gender thing, you know. If someone has a different color or religion or whatnot from you don't be too dogmatic about it you know jesus said love your neighbor as you love yourself so we have to really put our differences aside man we have to put our ego we have to leave our egos at the door you know and friendships is basically a lost art today man and we have to keep our bonds strong and solid you know keep you have to keep those associations good and keep good company keep a great circle around you I pray that whoever lists this message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life over for Christ. I pray that you have good company around you in a good circle and that no more loneliness is upon you. I pray that in these end times that you get around great people because you're going to need it in these last days. I'm Jarvis Case. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.